excuse me, the team's performance today? Um, I'm proud of the team. That's what I told them. Uh, this was a really tough weekend. I'm not sure many D1 teams have a weekend quite like this. Uh, we were in Stillwater less than 24 hours, where we were on our way back from Stillwater less than 24 hours ago. But that's no excuse. Um, uh, we had some bright spots and we had some spots where we still need some work. But overall, I'm proud of the way they handled the weekend. We wrestled tough at Oklahoma State and, uh, and we wrestled pretty tough here. Um, some situations got away from us, but we can, we can grow from there. Four seconds away, five seconds away from taking four matches versus Iowa. Do you allow yourself to think about that before the match, like what what you'd be happy with as a coach? Of course, you're always going to kind of predict what happens. And the funny thing is, I don't know why I do it, because I'm never right, ever. Um, so it's kind of this stupid thing you do that you know won't come out the way you think it, but you do it anyway. Uh, plus, when you're getting close to the duel, you kind of just want to kill some time because you just want to get to the duel, too. So, uh, you know, four, five. I, people say that. People don't understand what I think of our guys. I mean, I walk away here. Three is not good. Four would have been not good. We have guys that can could have won in other spots, I think, that didn't wrestle maybe to their to their ability. Um, and I mean, we, we came in here thinking we could win. I don't know if I'm out of my mind. Uh, maybe some people think I am, but I believe in these guys, and that's why we do a trip like this weekend. We're not here to lose, so um, yeah, four, who cares? We won and won, so. Can I keep asking? Can you imagine, I mean, when you took over the program, Iowa coming to New Jersey and the East Coast only to wrestle Princeton? Um, that's a great question. I think there were times where I wasn't sure. <laughs> that was gonna happen. But I think in late, in the, in, of, of late, I think in the last, five years or so, we saw signs where we could be, uh, you know, one of the best teams in the country. And our goal with this group is to be top four. We, we want a trophy this year. I think there's no reason that we can't do that with, with the guys that we have in this program right now. And so that's the goal. Um, and so, yeah, I will come here again. I literally thought we could win it. So, um, you know, they put, they put not Spencer Lee at 25. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay. There's some opportunities here that maybe yeah. have been there, and Pat could have won that match too. But so anyway, um, yeah, in the beginning it was tough to imagine that, but now it's probably going to be a regular thing. We'll see. That'd be great. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, Monday? He probably had his biggest win as a Princeton Tiger. It's it's pretty interesting. I told him after I grabbed him right away, and I said, "You could have scored more. It didn't need to be that close." I want him to know that he's that he's better than one point uh, over over that wrestler. But I think Quincy needed that match over that top-ranked guy to know that he belongs. I think from this point forward, and I said this to him too, I said, it's domination after this. There's no reason that Quincy Monday can't be a national champion this year, uh, but he's got to start to spread himself apart from these guys. It can't be one point with that guy. That guy's tough. I'm not trying to take anything away from him, but I think Quincy could... could uh, he needs to extend himself away from his competition a little bit and believe in himself a little bit more, especially scoring takedowns. I mean, I mean, he's a he's a freak. He's a freak that can win nationals. So, yeah, I, I, that was a great match. But it was a great to get the win, but we could I think he could have even scored some. Travis also had a win over his highest ranked opponent probably since he's been at Princeton. I think similar situation. You need uh, <laughs> he's over there. You need. Uh, a similar situation to Quincy, you need those those moments against those top ranked guys where you know you belong. And then I think once you get in that ranking, if, if you're good and you, and, you, and you look at it the right way, it should free you up a little bit to kind of experiment and try to extend yourself a little bit from everyone else. So I hope those two weights, I've always, those two guys, we've believed in them last year. We, we think they can do big things. I, I think they could have placed at NCAAs last year as true freshmen. It's a tough tournament as a true freshman, but um, this year I think again Travis is in a position where he's as good as anybody. So let's get him out there against the best guys. Uh, coming up, you got Ryder, Battle of New Jersey. Yeah. Tell me a little bit, you know, what you're going to do between here and uh, Ryder. Well, an interesting thing is uh, we have a massive. The kids have a massive workload this week with school. It's the last week of school. They, they have a lot of stuff to do this week. I mean, I was talking to Pat Brucky, uh, and he has things to do in classes that I can't even pronounce. So <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's, got a lot, he's got a lot of work to do. So we're going to take off tomorrow. Um, Tuesday's kind of up in the air, but they need to get some work done. It'll be a pretty flexible week. The second this week ends Friday, though, we're on focus for Ryder. Uh, you know, 
people don't realize last year was the first year since I've been here that would be Ryder. So we need to continue that trend. Um, and they have a great team. They beat Minnesota. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're, they're, the, every one of their guys is stingy, hard to score on. So we're going to have to... We're gonna have to figure this thing out. It's gonna be a great duel here in, in uh, at Princeton. Is it Jadwin or is it? It's at Dylan. Dylan. All right. Uh, I don't know what happened. If you watch the match, he was bringing most of the aggression. Uh, the guy was sort of hanging hanging on a little bit, and he didn't he didn't transition some scores that he transitioned against Gear. Again, I told the group, and I really and he hates this, and I'll say it again. This was a tough weekend to wrestle Gear, who's one of the top ranked guys in the country, who gave him a tough match last year. Um, to, to beat him the way he beat him, almost major him, it's a lot of emotional juice. And, and quite frankly, he's got about four things on Monday that he's got to do for school that, that maybe, I'm gonna say, it, some kids at other schools don't have to worry about. He's an engineering student. So I'm really proud, proud of Pat Brocky. Um, he fought through this weekend, like a freaking warrior. And so for me, and him and going going on, he'll be a different man in Midlands when there's no school. <laughs> we don't have to go to Oklahoma the day before. He hates he hates hearing that. I'm not making excuses. He should have won the match, um, but I, I'm not I'm not I'm not upset with his effort. He he was tried about. I mean that kid could have got hit for stalling. I mean let's be honest. We took how many shots? Eight nine shots. Let's be honest. Because he's in a black singlet, he doesn't get hit with stalling. It's a fact. I mean, that's that's what happened. They earned it, though. I mean, they're one of the best programs in the country, but that's the way I saw it. Do you feel like that was true of ref calls through the whole thing? No, nah, I mean, I think the guy was a little off tonight. I'm not going to be... I think he was nervous, maybe, in this environment. I think... I don't think he had a bad night. I think there was a couple areas where we could have been better. We weren't helping. We went out of bounds. I mean, you got guys backing out of bounds in the first, I don't know, how, how 15 seconds, Travis? I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say. 15, I, 20 I, seconds? I, I don't, I don't think I should've got hit for so there. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's, we weren't helping ourselves in some cases, but um, there was a couple times I kind of was a little like, eh, I don't know, but that's how it looked. When you lose, that's where you go. <laughs> go to the refs, <laughs> poor refs. I got a follow up. Yeah. You and Brands were chirping at each other. The benches <laughs> were chirping at each other. Yeah, Terry, yeah. Was it Terry? I didn't know which Terry, one it was. It was Terry. You want to take that? Oh, good. Hey, baby, Tom. Yeah. I'm going to press so. numbers. Tell me a little bit about that. Because you guys I, I were mean, joking so, around, but it was the serious. The funniest thing was, he was telling me to sit out, but I was sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to stand up and say, I'm, you sit down. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just, it's just fun, you know. I, I don't. I don't think either of us were too serious. We're heated, you know. He was yeah. yelling at the ref, and I was yelling, "Sit, sit down." But um, yeah, it was it was good. Yeah.